Welcome back to the third tutorial. This time we're looking at how to make binds and how to change the setting for these. Here we are in Shaipo again and we see the pitch that we created last time. But I also added another relation called gear which is just for dropping the gear. Just that we have one axis and one button. So in order to assign a button or an axis you need to click in the column axis button in the accordion column for that on the non button. If you click on it, it waits for a couple of seconds and you need to move your stick. I moved now my joystick and you see now it found it directly with the correct axis which I moved. Let's do a similar thing uh, and basically for dropping the gear. Let's click on the non button and now hit the button. Now we see the right button has been found. If we want to adjust some axis settings, that we have usually in DCS. We can do that here on the right side. We can still make it inverted or a slider or give it a special user curve. Then the button here appears for user curve, which you can open and put your custom user curve in. Otherwise, these values are the same ones as you see in DCS. However, um, as DCS has percentages, this one goes from zero to one every time. So in terms of curvature, if you want DCS like 50% curvature, it would be 0 0.5 as 50%. If you are unhappy with the settings in terms of detecting the joystick, you can click on settings and here you see uh, the time to set interval, so it waits for 5 seconds. And also the minimum threshold for moving the joystick is right now at 10,000. 10, and the time it waits like from clicking the button before it actually starts making sense out of the inputs. And also here the poll time in between each time it asks for a new input value is 10 milliseconds. You basically can set those as you wish. If you are having problems with setting an axis that way or want to assign a VJOY, which has some logic to it, or if multiple axes activating at the same time or buttons, you can just right click this button, this non button or this axis assign button, and can manually uh, assign axis to to the given relation. So here I select, for instance, my VJOY device and say like I want the Y axis on my VJOY device and I press apply. And now we see the device is changed to VJOY. We can also add custom joysticks which are currently not plugged in. Here you see the format it needs to have. So the start is a name and then the UUID needs to be there of the joystick, which needs to match the DCS UUID of the joystick. That is everything for this short one. I wish you a great day and see you next time.